There's something about Summer Lawrence wearing a Speedo that I just, I don't know what to say. Hey everyone, I'm the Exalt High, and welcome to a unit review of Summer Lawrence. Lawrence is a free Tempest Trials unit for the Overseas Memory Banner. He and he's something else. This review will go over his stat potential, comparison, skill synergy, fodder, allies, counters, builds, and answer should you invest your heroic grails into Lawrence. Now then, let's begin. An exalted existence. Lawrence, Highborn Heat enters the battle as a Red Tome Infantry unit, a rather saturated class with tons of competition. Lawrence is going to need something to make him stand out, and well, he had something. Taking a look at his stats, right off the bat he's very mediocre. Everything but his HP is either okay or below okay. Thankfully, he has decent attack for some solid damage and 31 speed is workable so he'll be able to prevent doubles and do doubles himself. His res is solid enough to run Iceberg and take a magical hit. His defense is below good, but he does have high HP to cover that. He's an all-rounder which can be good and bad. So let's compare him to other units. Lorenz is alright. He's not a dedicated tank like Sophia or Leon because he has workable speed, but he's not a high damage support unit like Iago. You could try to say that he's better than Sophia, but she has access to IVs, a personal tome, and the resplendent boost. So not really. But what about at plus 10? Well at plus 10, Lawrence has a good 37-36 offensive spread. That's really good, until you compare him to other red tome units with their offensive spread. Ouch. Lawrence is not looking so good. He does have better defensive res, so he could run a solid defensive build, then no oh rights. They also have a plus 10 and they do a better job at defense than Lawrence. Iago especially is better at support with his tome so Lawrence is beat at that too. It's fair to say that Lawrence is just bad. He's outclassed and isn't as appealing stat wise than any other red tome unit. At plus 0 he's just, well, bad. And at plus 10 he's versatile due to having solid stats in every category. But once you give him a type of build, he's just outclassed. But Zithia at plus 0 has better offensive power than a plus 10 Lawrence, and honestly I would recommend Zithia over Lawrence if you need an offensive red tome unit. And that's a big problem with Lawrence's stats. Sure, being an all-rounder allows him to take multiple roles, but there are units that can just do that role way better. You could give him multiple skills so you can swap them for the situation, but that requires a lot of fodder and investment. There is sort of an upside. If Lawrence runs an offensive build, then it is safer if a problem comes up. Say he's stuck in the foe's range and you have no way of getting him out of there. Well, he has the bulk to take a hit, whereas other offensive units can't do that. And what if you don't like how your defensive unit gets doubled a lot and their HP just goes down the drain? Well, Lawrence has decent speed and with little investment, he can avoid a double and keep tanking for longer. These are good advantages, however, these are also rare situations. If you use a frail offensive unit, you should already be ready with dancers or movement assists or just plan ahead so your unit doesn't get hurt. If you run a defensive unit, you should consider more defensive buffs like distant guard, drives, or smokes. It doesn't matter if the foe hits twice if they do no damage. Stat wise, Lorenz is good, but they're just better units, and that's a little sad. Now onto skill synergy. It's not bad, and the skills also synergize with the stats. Fire Boost will give him plus 6 attack when he has more than 3 HP than the foe at the start of combat. Thanks to his high HP pool, Lauren should be able to reliably get this buff often. Even Res Wave will give him plus 6 res on even turns, even if he's not next to an ally. Then the Conch Bouquet will give him plus 5 attack res as long as it's the first combat in either phase, so he effectively gets plus 11 attack and res, perfect for taking a magical hit or dealing solid damage. The Bouquet also heals 7 HP after combat, which will help keep up his HP for fire boost. Sadly, the plus 5 attack and res and the 7 HP heal is only for the first combat of player or enemy phase. So really, Lauren should be only fighting once per phase. That is very limited. He can still enter combat, but he won't get the buff and he won't get the extra healing. That would be very bad if he's injured in combat and then in the next combat, he doesn't have enough HP to get the fire boost buff. Boost skills in general are not that good. Sure, they give an invisible buff, which can be panic status like even res wave, but they're dependent on HP. And if you don't have good defenses or speed, then your HP can drop like an anvil in Minecraft. We do have healers, but now you have to make a decision. 
Do you want to use your healer to heal, or do you want to use them for their staff? Think about the Pain Plus, Flash Plus, or maybe Brave Veronica, who has an incredible staff for attacking. So rather than using an offensive skill that relies on HP, why not use a support skill that relies on HP, like Panic Ploy? Lawrence has a fantastic HP, so his Panic Ploy potential is phenomenal. Game Press says there's 550 characters, and I just counted the amount of characters with HP under 45 and subtracted to get this number. But at 45 HP, Lawrence can Panic Ploy 464 characters in the game, and at 50 HP, he can Panic Ploy 540 characters. This is assuming that they have a neutral HP IV, and it only looks at the characters at base and not at plus 10, but the number shouldn't differ far from 540. The point is, Lawrence is a great Panic Ploy support user with that high HP of his. But Panic Ploy isn't the only thing Lawrence can do with his HP. He can run Sudden Panic, which has the same HP requirement as Panic Ploy. Sudden Panic also needs the foes to be adjacent to each other, and it's a global debuff rather than focusing on a cardinal direction. Lawrence can also run Infantry Pulse effectively with his HP. He can decrease his ally's special cooldown on turn 1, and that helps a lot of characters that use Special Spiral. Ophelia is a perfect example as Special Spiral is incredible on her, and her Mistletane Tome needs magic units to decrease her special cooldown, which Lawrence can help with. Lawrence can also stay in HP ranges like Breaker, Guard, or Quick Repost longer thanks to his HP and speed. By having decent speed, he can prevent doubles which would destroy most of his HP. He also benefits from using R Dual Infantry since it gives plus 5 HP. Keep in mind that Iago can also do this. He might have less HP, but he is a much stronger support with his tone. Lawrence has potential with his versatility. However, he doesn't have the best skill fodder. I've explained how Fire Boost isn't that good. Even Red's Wave is solid and it was hard to get since it was on a 5 star exclusive unit. It does have its pros since you can still get the buff even if you're not next to an ally, but it has its cons of panic or if it's neutralized. There's also the bouquet. Personally, I think the bouquet excels best on support units. These units typically don't need to engage in combat, so chances are they'll only encounter one combat per phase. By giving it to a support unit, you can increase their chances of survival, which is needed if they want to keep supporting their allies. So what about some allies? Healers are great for Lawrence with a high HP of his. He can keep taking hits or keep using fire boost. Strong green units will help take on blue units that Lawrence can't handle. And warping with Peony is theoretically really good. Once Peony dances to an ally, she gets plus 3 to all stats and warping to any space adjacent to an ally within 2 spaces to the target ally and allies within the cardinal directions of Peony and target. And the plus 3 is useful for Lawrence who benefits from all stats. And teleportation allows him to safely maneuver in player phase to get his first combat. He gets the bouquet buff and now he's sort of a skip travel point. His allies can teleport to him and take out the foes or to cover him in preparation for the enemy phase. But of course, there are counters. Panic status will turn the even res wave against Lawrence, and it's especially significant if Lawrence ever runs a blade tome, which I would only recommend for a plus 10 Lawrence. Splash damage from AoE or Pain Plus is very detrimental since that can take away most of his HP tanking. Lawrence doesn't have the best attack nor the best defense, so blue walls like Fjorm can easily deal with them. Now for builds. If you have any other build ideas for Lawrence, feel free to comment them down below. First up is a simple, cheap build that rides on even res wave with attack defense link. It runs the risk of panic, but hey, he gets 50 attack, 31 defense, and 35 res, which can be further boosted by the bouquet. Speaking of the bouquet, refining it gives him extra HP to help with fire boost and panic ploy. You could run Iceberg since he gets a res buff, but Moonbo might be better since his attack could use some work. It's a very simple and basic set. He can support with Link, Wave, and Panic Ploy, while also being a strong attacker with Bouquet, Fire Boost, and Link. Second build works with Loyal Wreath and Bonds. With that high HP, Lawrence can act sort of a ranged wall and bait for enemy face. Loyal Wreath gives plus 3 to all stats when adjacent to an ally and stack it with other Bonds to get plus 8 to all stats. Then he'll have 52 attack, 41 speed, 33 defense, and 37 res. It's helpful to his overall bulk, survivability with him getting doubled less, and offensive power. Then, with low speed res, he can further decrease his chances of getting doubled, increase his chances of doubling, and increasing damage to the foe. If you think his speed is fine, then you could run low attack res, and that way he can stay healthier. This set does lack close counter, which would help against close range units. 
but he can get some support from his allies and support them back by being the bond wall and attack tactic. Third build utilizes his defensive stats to be a ranged tank. Even Red's Wave also supports the magic tanking. Sudden Panic synergizes with his HP and combined it with Distant Defense, he can be safer against Blade Tome units. You could run triple Distant Defense over a quick repost for better tanking, and I guess Lawrence doesn't have the best attack to do much with a double attack. The main problem about the set is getting the Rao Serpent. Only, uh, Iwan? Iwain? I'm Ewan. I've been training hard. The, the red haired kid, right? He has it and he's a 5 star exclusive unit, so it's kind of expensive. But who knows, we might get a cheap unit with this and defense built into the weapon, like Norn with the guard bow. Fourth build is just what he could run at plus 10. I mentioned it before that Lauren should only run a blade tome if he's at plus 10. With a 37-36 offensive spread, he can be a solid blade tome user. Plus he can keep using attack speed push 4 with a high HP of his. And remember, Infantry Pulse works really well with high HP units like Lawrence, so we can help his allies all while having an offensive presence. For this certain set, it works really well with the special Fire Emblem and Hero's Blood. Fire Emblem is on Legendary Marth and the Christmas duo Marth and Elise, while Hero's Blood is on Young Marth. Those specials give stat bonuses to allies after they've been used, which helps Blatome users like this set here, and Infantry Pulse will help them proc it faster. Or maybe you're looking for a different kind of blade tome set that works with his mixed bulk. With those defenses in HP, Lawrence can tank a few hits for the team and then go wild with close counter advantage. And thankfully, he can afford to miss a few one shots due to his HP and bulk saving him from death. It's different than say, Nino because she doesn't have a good HP or defenses so she can't afford to miss a one shot. But the main thing is, Lawrence can run several good builds once he reaches plus 10. That's it for builds. If you have other thoughts and builds for Lawrence, I'd love to hear about in the comments below. Now then, should you invest your heroic grails into Summer Lawrence? On the yes side, he's versatile, which is rather unique among other red tome units. He has even Resway for a fodder as well. And hey, please don't let heroes ruin your perception of Lawrence. He's an actual good character and you'll see it once you play Golden Deer. And please play Golden Deer so you can listen to the final battle music. On the no side, well, he's just outclass. Just because he can run multiple sets doesn't mean he'll be the best at it. If you have Lysithia for your red tome unit and only want offense, then Lawrence doesn't hold a candle to her. If you want defense, Sophia's got you. If you want support, Iago's got your back. He also has horrible fodder, and even with Res Wave, you probably shouldn't use a heroic grails to fodder him. Those heroic grails can be put into other options like Itsuki, Black Knight, Sprunya, Astrum, or more. I mean, I know I'm putting my grails into building a plus 10 Kronia. Thanks for watching! Subscribe for more 5 Heroes content and leave a like. You can find me on Twitter at exo underscore tie for video updates and random tweets. I hope all of you get lucky of your summons because I could really use some luck to summon a particular pair of units. And yeah, with all that, stay hydrated folks and stay safe.